Hey, long time no see. Let's have a quick catch up. Hi everyone, it's Neil from Neil's Reef Aquarium. Hope you're all having a good week or month or even year. I think it's been about a year, so um, uh, yeah. Uh, so let's have a, a quick update. Um, so it has been a year and I think, well, pretty much a year now. And uh, when we last done the video, I was uh, looking to potentially sell the aquarium. As you can see, Neil's Reef Aquarium is still here. Um, so, in that time, I thought I'd just have a think about things and see if I'd get the passion back. Um, it was up for sale on a few pages, um, but basically I I haven't sold it. Um, I thought I'd get the bug back, but I haven't had the bug back and I am looking to get rid of it ASAP. So this video is pretty much just showing you what you can get and how much it will cost. and. But there is a catch, and I'll come on to the catch in, in, in a bit. So, without further ado, let's have a look at Nils Reef Aquarium. We'll do an update and show you what's there and what what, what you can have. Because um, I want this to tank gone pretty much ASAP now. So, uh, it's becoming more of a chore, which uh, which I'd never wanted. And I was hoping I'd get the passion back, and I haven't. So, uh, let's take a look. Right, so obviously I've looked after the tank. Um, uh, I don't know if you look back on the other videos, but you can see um, there has been a lot of growth. Um, my coral uh, zoa garden has is grown. I mean, these were one one head at a time. I think. I mean, now look at there. You got hundreds on that one and this one, and going down to I forget the names of them all now. I've been out the game for so long. Uh, but basically what I'm just going to do on this video is document exactly what you'll get and how much it will cost. Because I'm looking to sell Neil's Reef Aquarium as a package. So I know before, if I think if you look at the video, I was just looking to sell the tank and not the livestock. <clears throat> now I'm looking to sell absolutely everything. Um, so you've got, I'll just go through everything. So we've got the big rock of ultra green GSP there. That started as a tiny little frag. I think if you look back on previous videos, um, you've got the massive Zoa garden. Now these, some of these ones, I don't know which one's which, but I know, I think it was them. I paid like 50 pound for one frag. And the other one was like 30 pound a frag and they've just expanded. So somebody, that wants to get this, this will be perfect for somebody that knows how to frag and they could sell them off at whatever they want to sell them off at. But you've got some really, really popping Zoas there. And there's, I, I mean, I couldn't tell you how many there are, but there's got to be hundreds. It goes all the way round if we um, if we have a look round here. Oh God, I still don't know how to work this camera. You can see it's all going around the back there as well. And there's different Zoas all around there. Um, the mushrooms, um, I forget the name for them. It's some sort of superhero name, I believe. I uh, forget what it was called, but, you know, I think that was like £80 for one mushroom. You've got about, in fact, I've been killing them with Joe's Juice. They're, they're getting out of control that much, but you can take those off and frag them up. You know, you can sell them, for, you know, it's even, you can see where it's starting to smother that zoa there. Um, there's, there's a big colony behind there as well, but they're just overtaking as well. Um, obviously you've got the yellow tang, um, uh, there's 11 fish in total, you've got the royal grammar, the yellow tang, the clown fish which are hiding because I've cleaned the glass but they're usually around there. So you've got two, two clowns, um, oh god, let's try and get this back. The yellow tang, you've got the, the large Bengai cardinal, oh, this camera is still playing up. I never did like this device I bought. <laughs> um, what else have we got? We've got a large green ras. We've got a little bicolor blenny, um, a, a large bicolor blenny. There's a green mandarin. I think he's hiding just in there. His cute little face there. So you've got him. There's a pink spot goby, large one hiding in there. Um, I'm trying to think who I've missed off. Uh, we've got the two clowns. 
the yellow tang, the Bengal cardinal, the re uh, the um, royal grammar, the trying to think what there is now i'm gonna have to count them up but i'm sure there's a, I'll, I'll put a full list of what's included anyway in or in the description on the video but basically you get all the livestock the rock everything you see you've got this lovely rock flower anemone there large big large rock flower anemone um you get obviously every single bit of equipment that you see so you've got the reef photon lights tmc um an MP40, Ecotech MP40 quiet drive, that's all included. The tank itself, which is a Reef Habitants 90. Um, it's a 60 gallon or 250 litre, whatever you want to, whatever you use. Um, you get the full Rockscape. Um, it's a very mature tank. You can see you've got, you know, you've got a lot of coralline algae growing now. Um, tank's got to be... Um, close to three years old now uh there's lots of little inverts hiding around so you've got crabs and you've got uh peppermint shrimp there was a leopard at one point don't know how many are around now but um so there's lots of little inverts you get everything there as well i'm just trying to think of what other fishes i've forgotten um so so yeah so that's what you get there um and now if we go into the sump this is what else you get. So you've got an S2, Ecotech S2 um, pump, uh, which well, I think they're about 360 odd pounds. You've got the Reef, um, the Red Sea Reefer 300 skimmer. You get the H2 Ocean dosing. Um, you get the H2 Ocean, uh, uh, what they call it, the um, to put your phosphate in a uh, reactor there's a titanium pump in there as well you get the temperature controller which is the dd temperature controller you get the dd skimmer guard which is on the skimmer there so when it overflows it cuts it off you get the um the eight the, the dd auto top up you get the um tunes tunsy light uh you get the obviously the whole sump and all the biomedia the stand absolutely everything in there uh there is a lot more stuff as well which i will list um, um on the description i'm just trying to go through what i've missed out but obviously everything you see there and there's 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 other heaters and pumps and god knows what else there um so i mean just with the livestock alone there i mean those always if, if you know what you're doing and you can frag them up you know you're looking at five six hundred pounds worth of zoas just there once you frag the gsp rock there i think i paid for that a little bit there i paid something i can't remember what i paid now but you're getting a whole rock there that's got to be worth a few hundred pound for the size of it um the yellow tang how much are they i mean that's a perfect example of a yellow tang there it's large it's not a, probably the most perfect example i've ever seen and you will get them as part of it, as long with, along with all the other fish. Um, and there is a catch. So the catch is um, that you must buy the lot. Because basically what I want is, um, I, could, I know I could probably sell everything off individually. I could sell the Ecotech MP40 for £200, and the S2 for £200, the lights for a few hundred pounds you know um and all the other equipment i could break off separately you know hannah salinity checkers you know you get all that you're going to get all of that included you know even the coral light thing i mean you could get all of all of that that everything i've got is going to get sold so the catch is number one you you must take everything all right and 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 you'll see you and, and this is why i'm selling it so cheap and secondly um you must come and break it all down and take it away yourself. So you're going to have to turn up with you and your mates, break it all down, take the fish out safely, take the rock out, the corals, get it all boxed up safely into containers and break the tank down yourself. I will help as well, but predominantly that is the catch. Um, and you can have all of that for £950. 
So I was looking to sell, I think that just the tank um, and uh, the lights and things for 650. But now it's got to a point, though there's probably over grand's worth of livestock there easily, I just need to get rid of it. We're going on holiday um, next year and the tank, we're going for two weeks and the tank has to be gone. So what I'm asking all my reef um, buddies is to, if you could put the name about for anyone that's looking to set up a tank or somebody that knows what they're doing and they want to make a bit of money, this is, a, you couldn't get a better investment. I mean, you could probably sell that yellow tank for three, four hundred pound on its own. You know, that with the MP40 and the, and the S2 has probably covered your money. And then you've got like the Mandarin, which is probably, I don't know, 60, 70 quid. Um, you know, you've got all the other fish there. there. There's a lot of money to be made there. But I just do not have the time anymore or the patience or the, the technical ability to be able to sell it all individually myself. So... What I'm asking for any of my subscribers, if you could put the name about, if any of you are interested, then please message me on either my Instagram account, which is Neil Ru uh, uh, Neil's Reef Aquarium, or put a comment in there. Um, yeah, Neil's Reef Aquarium's uh, Instagram is probably the best way to send me a message. Um, but you can put a comment on there to to message you. Um, but I've had hundreds of messages. Obviously, I've had I've had this on for sale before, um, you know, and I've had people message me how much for the MP40. Well, I can't just take that off because I'll kill the rest of the tank. So that's obviously, you know, I need to do the livestock first. Um, and I just don't have the time or the patience to post stuff off and, you know, try and catch a yellow tank to send that off to somebody and, you know, and then do it all that way. So what I what, the reason why it's going so cheap is I want someone to come. Here you go, Neil. Is nine nine? Well, I can't remember what I said now. Nine fifty or nine hundred pound. Uh, well, I'll take nine hundred. There you go. That's a giveaway, but not a penny less. Um, is nine hundred quid, and we're coming around on this date and time, and we will take away everything. That that's that's what I'm looking for. I tried to get back into the hobby, but I I couldn't. Um, in fact, let me bring this back on me. Yeah, so I did try to get back into the hobby. I've kept it going for pretty much a year since my last video when I was looking to sell it, but. Um, it's just becoming, it was just becoming a chore now every week, just doing the maintenance, the testing, the water changes. I'm still keeping up with it. I'm looking after this tank just as good as I did the day it was set up. So, um, the difference is now it's a chore, not a passion. So, um, you know, which is a shame because I was really into the hobby. I was watching all everyone's videos going on to the live, the live streams and all of that. And, you know, it, but it's just not coming back anytime soon and it's becoming a chore and I just want a quick sell, to be honest. So if you know anybody or if you fancy a little project, then you think, do you know what? I could break this down and make three, four times what you pay for it. I don't know if that's realistic or not, but, you know, I know what I paid for those, 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 those corals and the zoas. So if we break them down individually, there's probably a lot of money to be made there. Not to mention with some of the livestock, but... Like I said, I ain't got the time to do it all myself. So um, so that's really it. Um, I'm going to put a list of exactly what you'll get below. Um, so I have some little pumps, heaters and little bits that I've bought. And there's, uh, it'll all be listed. And um, yeah, inbox me if you're interested in the whole setup. Don't inbox me with, I want to buy the yellow tang or, you know, because I am looking to sell it as a whole. Um, so, uh, so yeah, you know, if you can... Um, let me know. I wish it was a more positive video, but as you know from my videos in the past, they've never really been that positive, have they? There's always been something that's gone wrong. But unfortunately, this time, it was just me losing passion for the hobby. Um, but it will come back one day. I know I, I thank you all for your lovely messages on the last video. I know it was a year ago. I did try to reply to a lot of you. So thank you so much for that. Um, but yeah, I was just... I mean, nothing's really changed. I wish I'd come back and say I've got everyone back and I'm going to buy some more corals. And I haven't. Nothing's changed. Um, so I, I do need to get rid of it once and for all. And that's what I think, you know, is a crazy low price for what you're getting there. You know, this tank sells for that price on its own, let alone any of the equipment. You know, if you total the price up for the equipment, there's thousands there. And, and as for the, you had the livestock and the corals on, it's going into. I know what I spent. I I know what I've spent. I spent close to eight nine thousand pound on this tank. 
it, obviously I had lots of corals that have come and gone um, so uh, it's it's been yeah it's been a it's been an emotional ride but I'm, I'm looking to get rid of it now so please let me know inbox me um, any questions you might have don't hesitate to uh, go on to Neil's Reef Aquarium Instagram page um, and yeah we'll go from there really so um, I will um, I will leave it here hope you're all well um, hope your tanks all healthy um, you know, I don't really spend too much time on the videos um, of the hobby now because I'm not really into it myself. But I hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, you know, all my favourite UK YouTubers and overseas. Um, obviously, big shout out to... Um, I was gutted to hear the uh, the news for uh, Jake Adams last week. He was one of the main reasons... One of the reasons why I got into the hobby. I was watch When I first got into the hobby, I was watching him and a lot of the other american um reefers as well so i was absolutely gutted to hear my, my my thoughts with him and his family um so that was a horrible bit of news but i still follow you know a lot of the pages for you guys so i still see so certainly for social media i see it all so i hope you're all well and that was awful news he was a big part of our reefing community and um yeah you know rest in peace absolute legend of the of the hobby so uh so that's it, um, and uh, yeah, I will speak to you all soon. Take care.